demo how to build a soundscape using GarageBand. So I'm going to open up GarageBand and it's immediately going to ask whether I want to choose a project. I'm going to start with an empty project. Now this is an audio project, so I don't need keyboards or guitars or what have you. I want to hear my instrument as I play and record and I hit create. And so this is what the window looks like. So I'm going to set it up for our soundscape a little bit. Um, don't really need this library. We've got our own library of sound. So I'm going to just drag this to the left, get rid of that library window. And now I'm going to change a few settings up here at the top. And we don't need a metronome and a counter because we're not playing music and we want to change it to just time. So now um, the timeline along the top is just playing time. And here are our tracks along the top and some settings along the bottom. Now, uh, before you started your soundscape, um, you should dig into the BBC Sound Library, which I've linked um, in our course calendar, and uh, collect some sounds. You're going to need a, 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 a batch of sounds to build your soundscape before you even start with uh, putting them together here in GarageBand. So I've done so. I've got a folder that I've downloaded from Google Drive. Now it's just in the downloads folder. And I've got a series of sounds. And in order to insert them into your uh, soundscape track, all you have to do is take it from the downloads folder, drag and drop up into there, and there it is. All right. And so when I hit play, you can see the, uh, the timeline tr tracking. You can start to hear it. And if this is a background sound, this pine forest one, the cicadas and whatnot are too loud. I can bring the volume down with my volume slider right here um, because I kind of want it to be subtle. And then I'm going to hit stop for a sec and then grab another sound. Um, let's get the dog barking. So I'm going to drag it. You can drag it and move it to wherever in the timeline you want the sound to start. And so... There we go. So we have a second track and dog barking. It's a little strong. I still want it in the background, so I'm going to bring this, the sound down, just like that. And now I've got two sounds. And, so, and you're going to continue to build your um, your track by doing that. Your woodpecker picking. Okay. There. And you can see every time you drag and drop, you can drag it into a, a new layered sound. Um, a couple of tools that you are, would like, probably going to use at one point, is trimming your sound. So if I scroll onto these tracks, you notice when I tr skip, troll, uh, scroll rather to the end, I've got these two different um, icons depending, depending whether I'm grabbing it from the top or the bottom. This is the, the trimming one that I, I would like to, to use. So if I want to shorten this, I want the dog barking not for quite as long. I come down to the bottom of the track, click and hold, and I can trim it so it's a much shorter moment of dogs barking. All right, and then the sound will, will stop. Um, if there is something that you want to cut out of the track, so I'm going to make this pine forest track uh, active now. If this is something I actually want to delete, so I'm going to bring the um, the trail, the head right to here, and then I'm going to hit Command T, and that makes um, a break in the track right there. And then I can go Command T for somewhere else, and then I can just grab this and hit Delete, and that part is gone. So um, that's how you kind of build and layer and kind of do a cut and, cut and paste of different tracks um, in order to build your soundscape. Now, there's one other thing that you might want to do is um, if I click the mix button and I show the automation, this allows me to, to build my uh, volume that fades up and fades down. Sometimes when the, the sound, um, like here, when the dog starts barking, you notice that it's pretty uh, abrupt. You can hear the addition of that track. You want that to fade in a little bit more. So I'm going to grab this track and click on this line here. And this line is um, currently used for the volume. So I'm going to click and add 
a node and then another node into in, into where the, the track has started. And then I can bring this down, bring this up. I can add, click on the line, make another node, make another node, and I can kind of play with how it fades up and how it fades out just by adding these notes along the volume line and bring them up and down. So now when I play it, when this thing with the dog comes in, you'll notice it fades in. You don't hear that abrupt starting and stopping. So those are just a few tools, trimming tracks, adjusting the volume and um, layering them one on top of the each other. Um, I'm by no means an expert in GarageBand, so I would check out the other tutorials. And if there's something that you um, not sure how to do, you know, to check YouTube and, and you know do some Google searching and see if you can kind of figure out some some of the um, other tools that I haven't listed in this one. But that that is kind of the basics of how you're going to build um, as a file. If you're working on it, um, and you're gonna um, save it to the local thos base on on the school computer you're going to hit save and you're going to save your project with your last name first and then the, what it is and it's going to save it as a garage band file um, if you want to finish um, the the track it's done um, you can share it which is um, how you're going to uh, take it from a GarageBand file and you're going to turn it into an mp3 so you can go share and um, export song to, song to disk all right and we are going to use the mp3 format with a high quality setting um, and you can again choose where you're going to export it to it's going to play the track through and convert it to mp3 and then you have that mp3 file of your finished soundscape so hopefully that's helpful that's just kind of a quick overview of what you're going to do to build your soundscape of your core memory using found sounds and in the folders as well as creating some of the sounds yourself good luck